Yeah, but we're, we're in light of that. We have a match starting. Yes, like, sir. Yeah, it seems we have Kofi versus Abby. I'm not sure if that's the actual tag. Uh, it is on a switch, but let's. See. Oh, okay, Wasabi. All right. Wasabi. The Wasabi I'm familiar with is a player from the Midwest, but I know it's not him. Uh, he plays DK and Diddy. So this is a new Wasabi in the building. Kofi, though, yeah. we know this guy pretty well, especially yeah. you, Reggie, being that he's from your region or your sub region, even. Yeah, that's, that's my brother, man. Oh, yeah. oh. oh calling off with this idea. Kofi makes some crazy plays with Falco, man. And he's got like a deep character pool too, especially in Smash 4. But I don't know who he's still playing in this game other than Falco. Um, he has still quite a few characters. He does have a pit. He has a ZSS that he barely takes out. But it, his pockets are deep. None to say. I feel like Greninja is one of those characters that like when you main them, you probably spec fully into the Greninja skill tree, right? And you don't have anybody else as a backup because the character is kind of like high demand. So, yeah. um... All right, so All right. Uh, I see that we have no visuals here, which is fine because we are professional radio commentators. Yeah, I, I majored in that, you know. Right, and so, right now, Abby has a Kofi above him on the platform looking for this super early kill. It's 76 to 120. Oh, but he yeah. an early kill. Down tilt to up smash center stage. All right, yeah. Abby on the left running away. Yeah, and he takes the stock, and now he's getting a quick, com quick little combo. And Kofi's trying to retaliate, missing the up air combo, and fishing for fishing for up tilt on his shield. Oh, Abby gets the opening though. He's forced him off stage, forced the air dodge. Oh, and, yeah, that's hit another air spike. Yeah, Kofi that's another just... stock. And Kofi's trying to read the, dot, the roll right there, but gets the back air to seal the stock. But he's got a complete stock down, Max. Wasabi Again. with the respawn, taking advantage of his invincibility. He gets opened up by Kofi. Now Kofi at center stage, trying to cross yeah. him up. Wasabi. Are we going to see some lasers? There we go. Kofi going to try to slow the game, but it's Wasabi applying pressure. Okay, he gets the Nair, but no full hit on the back air. Yeah. And Wasabi oh. still keeping Kofi knocked down, just in bad spots in center stage. Yeah, he's not letting Kofi get the chance to regain his footing. He's all over him. Oh, that's what the does. Smash. Yeah, it did, didn't get the sweet spot, but still a lot. And he fell out for that, for that one, which was under the platform. Okay, Wasabi again at center stage. Kofi trying to make an approach. He's down 120 to 60 and a full stock. Wasabi yeah, about that, to win this game. You saw that, Max. The up tilt couldn't hit your ninja because of how low he was. And that's going to be play a big part in the matchup coming forward. Wasabi off stage. Kofi finally getting a chance. Intercept him with the forward air. All right, even stocks. Kofi 120. Wasabi at zero. It's anybody's game. I'm pretty sure you guys can't see still. Wasabi comes off yeah. the platform, pressures them to the ledge. They meet back at center stage and a down tilt fair takes game one. Wasabi. Wow. This is a player that I'm not familiar with, but he could be very good, very strong in this region. Kofi, though, yeah. not um, not like a national household name, but in Tri-State, everybody knows this guy for being pretty damn good and uh, consistently power ranked. Yeah, this guy is Kofi, a regional threat. And I think that's like the term we call them. If they're not like on the national scale, he's definitely like a regional threat. Like could win a, maybe possibly win like a mini major, I guess. Or yeah, like I could see him top eighting a regional on, on a good day for sure. And like outperforming that even. Yeah. But um, yeah, Wasabi, a player that we don't know off rip is always exciting to watch, especially when they're winning or keeping it close. Yeah, this is definitely someone to look out for. Um, I'm not sure if they just have a Wi-Fi bearing or if they go out, but it's definitely noted to follow this player if they can just keep up with Kofi like this. Yeah, for sure. And I see the stream video has come back, so that's good. Um, now you guys won't have to rely on us telling you where people are on the screen. But yeah. um, all right, he's sticking to Greninja and Kofi's sticking to Falco. I think if anyone you know would be likely to counterpick, it would be Kofi. But he's sticking to his guns. Falco's what got him here. So why not rock? Yeah, and we're going to Yoshi's. This is Kofi, one of Kofi's favorite stages. Because of the tripod layout, Falco gets a lot of extensions on here. And because of the small ceilings, he could get kills easier off the top. 
And these platforms are, I think, really good for both characters' combos. They can ladder you or, you know, pseudo-ladder you. It doesn't usually end in a kill, but both of them love those up-air resets. Yeah, so that's why we saw it open. Or was out. Oh, this is the show guy right there. Come right. On. Got this not intense really? standoff at center stage, both of them just deciding if they should come in or not. Yeah, I really like the fact that they're not overcommitting. They're showing a sign of respect for each other, knowing that one fatal thing will be able to take a lot of damage, or maybe even lose the stop. Okay, Kofi with a little bit of a flub there on the edge guard. Probably just looking to use the fire as an active hitbox to catch Greninja. Oh, he parried oh. and spiked him. Damn, Kofi, all right. He's looking like Melee right now. Maybe even trying to brawl. Oh, oh yeah, that fair is too safe on block for you to shield grab it. But Kofi's still going to start putting him in the blender. Drops the combo, but he's got another chance. Yeah. Okay, gets the shield grab right there. Okay. And the double fair. And that... He just chased him off stage to steal that stock off the map. Sabi still in it if he plays a perfect stock right here. Otherwise, yeah. Kofi's just going to have so much momentum and a bat full stock lead. Yeah, and the momentum seems to be going his way. Oh, getting those mix-ups. Tomahawk into down tilt. I like it. Don't always land with grab, especially when you've got a slow grab like Greninja. It's really good to add that next layer to your mix-up game. Right, Kofi's looking for these up tilts. He knows what he'll get off of it. And I think he was looking for either Bear or Dare on that jab. Okay, down Ooh. tilt. Nice. Slice. Oh, the air dodge, though, off of the dash attack. Keeping Wasabi safe here. Spike, but okay, yeah. Of course, Greninja at zero. No way is he going to die to that. I was wondering if Kofi maybe had some next level stuff cooked up for him. Yeah, Kofi always seems to have something new in the bag. Oh, the boost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Getting right back to stage, but yeah, substitute coming through. That counter so reliable for Greninja. It slows yeah. your opponent a lot and pretty much always hits. Sending him the wrong way, though. You, wanted, you probably wanted him to get spiked the other side of the stage. Okay, still getting spiked onto stage. Kofi out for blood right now. Oh, the parry? Yeah, but he swung too early. Probably should have just parried more. Or just held block again. Oh, 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 no! Same thing happened last game, too, where he just got hit by the one hit. Yeah. All right, Kofi still has a couple kill setups that will work at this percent. Up tilt to back air might not anymore, but um, if he gets a little more damage up tilt up air, I think we'll put him in kill range. Or rather, that will be kill range for the up tilt to up air. Oh, but hold up. We've got up air combos from Greninja as well by way of the drag down. Super hard to detect that even offline because you never know how many hits it's going to take. All right. And this is now a dangerous position because a bear all stage by Greninja will seal the deal. And forward smash too. Oh, he could have hit one right there. Oh, stage spike. He gets back. Kofi. Oh, and... wait. What? Oh. Jesus Christ. My man is looking like Bear Grills. He's got the survival instinct. <laughs> okay, just gonna respect him this time. Let him come back to stage. Look for the ledge trap. Couldn't have any throws that'll kill at this percent or combo into a kill. Falco, though, maybe? Yeah, he's gonna get away from the laser. Shadow Sneak going unpunished. Oh, the oh up air off the wall, but he's alive! Kofi's crazy. <laughs> no way. He is insane. No regard for his own life right there. Jeez. Just wanted to get rid of Wasabi, but that's going to be a 2-0 in Wasabi's favor. I believe this part of the bracket's still best out of three, right? Yeah. It's true. Damn. So that's the set, Chief. That was unfortunate, especially as a Tri-State man's myself, and for you, even closer to home with Kofi. Um, but we know, you know, he's still going to just rally back and, and come to the next tournament stronger. That was loser's bracket, correct? Uh, I think that was one or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, Kofi still got another shot at top 24 then uh, by way of the loser side. So props to him. Keeping himself in the tournament. Uh, Going to shake that loss off.
And we'll see what he does if uh, he appears on stream again. Let me just try to see if I can pull up a bracket real quick. Because I know we already have some exciting matches play on the house stream. I saw the red line versus H box. If you were tuned in earlier, well, red line I didn't see it, but I saw the tweet. Yeah, that was hype. As a, a tri-state man, that was a victory for us. Definitely. Um, so yeah, guys, 